Hello everyone. Today I will discuss about the algebra tiles, an instructional material in teaching addition and subtraction of integers. I will also share with you on how to make it and how to use the algebra tiles in adding and subtracting integers. Let us have the objective. This instructional material will help the students to solve addition and subtraction of integers using tangible materials, specifically the algebra tiles. These are the materials that we are going to use in making an algebra tile. First, we need blue and yellow colored papers. Blue will represent the negative integers and yellow will represent the positive integers. We also need a ruler, a pencil, and lastly, a seesaw. These are the steps on how to make an algebra tiles. First, take the blue and yellow colored paper and draw squares with 2 inches size each. Next, carefully cut a long line using a pair of scissors. Then, write a positive sign inside the yellow squares. And lastly, write a negative sign inside the blue squares. Now, I will show you how to add integers using the algebra tiles. The first example that we have is positive 3 plus positive 2. Positive integers can be represented with yellow tiles and negative integers can be represented with blue tiles. So we have positive 3. Positive means ye yellow tiles and 3 means 3 yellow tiles. So let's draw three yellow tiles first. Now we are adding positive 2. So positive 2 means we have two yellow tiles. So let's draw two yellow tiles. So we have all the tiles drawn in. Let's count how many tiles we have all together. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we have... Five yellow tiles all together, and yellow means positive. Therefore, positive 3 plus positive 2 is equal to positive 5. Let's have another example. We have negative 4 plus negative 2. So negative means we have blue tiles, and negative 4 means we have 4 blue tiles. So let's draw 4 blue tiles. Now, negative 2 means 2 blue tiles, so let's draw 2 more blue tiles. Now, we have all the tiles drawn in. Since we are adding, we're just simply going to count how many tiles we have together. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. We have 6 blue tiles all together. And blue means negative. Therefore, negative 4 plus negative 2 is equal to negative 6. Another example. Positive 3 plus negative 2. Positive 3 means we have 3 yellow tiles. So let's draw 3 yellow tiles. And negative 2 means we have 2 blue tiles. So let's draw 2 blue tiles. Okay, we have all the tiles drawn in. Now, when we have a yellow tile and a blue tile, we will always make a zero pair. So let's make a zero pair. One yellow tile and one blue tile will always make one zero pair. So this is one zero pair. Now we have another yellow tile and another blue tile. So let's make another zero pair. Now, after we are done making our zero pairs, let's count how many tiles we have left. And we have one yellow tile, which means positive. Therefore, positive 3 plus negative 2 is equal to positive 1. Another example, negative 3 plus positive 6. Negative 3 means we have 3 blue tiles, so let's draw 3 blue tiles. And positive 6 means we have 6 yellow tiles, so let's draw 6 yellow tiles. 
Okay, we have all the tiles drawn in. Remember that whenever we have a yellow tile and a blue tile together, we always make a zero pair. One yellow tile and one blue tile will make one zero pair. So this is our first zero pair, second zero pair, and third zero pair. Now let's count how many tiles we have left. We have one, two, and three. And we have three yellow tiles left, which means positive three. Therefore, negative three plus positive six is equal to positive three. Now, I will show you how to subtract integers using the algebra tiles. The first example that we have is positive 3 minus positive 2. When we are subtracting integers, we always add the opposite. So we just copy down the first integer as is, which is positive 3. So instead of the subtraction sign, we're going to put the addition sign. And then, we're adding the opposite of positive 2, which is negative 2. So our new equation is positive 3 plus negative 2. So positive 3 means we have 3 yellow tiles. So let's draw 3 yellow tiles. So negative 2 means 2 blue tiles. So let's draw 2 blue tiles. Since we have all the tiles drawn in, we just simply make zero pairs. Remember that one yellow tile and one blue tile will always make one zero pair. So this is our first zero pair and we have another one zero pair. Let's count how many tiles we have left. We only have one yellow tile left which means it is positive one. Therefore, positive 3 minus positive 2 is equal to positive 1. Now, let's have another example. Negative 8 minus negative 2. We are going to add the opposite. So, just copy down the first integer as is, which is negative 8. And instead of putting the subtraction sign, we're going to put the addition sign and add the opposite of negative 2, which is positive 2. So our new equation is negative 8 plus positive 2. So negative 8 means we have 8 blue tiles. So let's draw 8 blue tiles. Now we have positive 2 and positive 2 means 2 yellow tiles. So let's draw two yellow tiles. Since we have all the tiles drawn in, now we just simply make zero pairs. Remember that one yellow tile and one blue tile will always make one zero pair. So this is our first zero pair and the second zero pair. So let's count how many tiles left. We have one, two, three, four, and five, and six so we have six blue tiles left and that six blue tiles left means negative six therefore negative eight plus positive two equals negative six thank you so much for watching and i hope you guys learned from my topic